Hi everyone! Welcome! I have a really grumpy cat today. Grumpy girl. Gotcha. Hi! <laughs> welcome! Welcome, welcome. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna have to go back to the top of the chat here. Welcome to Kenny, Alf, Janine, Lulu, Pamela, Pam, Patty, <laughs> Bernard, <laughs> Nana, hello, Mona, hello, Abby, hello, Helen, hello, <laughs> Cassie, hello, hi guys, welcome, I think I've got everyone now, if I missed you, hi, Tara, hello, um, hi, <laughs> how is everybody? Good, I hope. Good, I hope. Hi, Lisette. Welcome. Shadow is saying hello. Um, aren't you, Shadow? She's a bit cranky today. She bit me this morning. I was just sitting there and she she just sort of was doing her little, you know how they do their little colouring thing. And all of a sudden she just went, right, on my hand. <laughs> I was like, what the? <laughs> that was the funniest thing. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> she was having a moment. <laughs> I got my what? Hi, Shara. I'm good, Elf. Thank you. I know, rude, right? <laughs> very, very cheeky. So we're going to colour in this beauty for the next four weeks. Um... Ennis and I had a bit of a chat and uh, we, we're both uh, April babies so that's kind of cool, we, we both liked that. And um, she asked me what image I would like and I said to her that I really loved doing button eyes. Button eyes is one of my favourite, all time favourite images. If you haven't seen it, let me see if I can find it, I didn't even think of that. Uh, I did it, I think it was last year. Let me find her. She had blue hair. You know what? Maybe it was 2018. Gosh, time flies, doesn't it? <laughs> it flies. Let's have a look. Here it is, it was 2018. Zooming in there, it automatically goes into my program that large size because it's such a high quality file. Let me just shrink her down to size. Here she is. I know she's a little shadow, a little bit <laughs> shadow. <laughs> Stop it. A little bit dark for some, but this was my absolute all-time favourite Ennis image that I've coloured so far. And um, I said that to her and she said to me, well, I have something that you might like and it's called The Other Me. I'm like, yay! <laughs> Brilliant! So um, this, if you didn't know, is inspired by the Coraline movie. It, it, I know, Nana, it's amazing, love it. Um, so that's why I wanted to do this one. <laughs> so inspired by Car Coraline, the movie, I actually watched it again the other day because I was curious to know, um, I haven't seen it since my kids were younger when it first came out. So I just wanted to watch it again and, um, I kind of get it. It's like, you know, the grass is greener on the other side, but is it really? <laughs> So um, anyway, this one up here was coloured with uh, some Copics for a base layer and then Pablo's. So um, I really had fun with that one. 
It's uh, also up on Patreon if you'd like to see it, my Patreon. Uh, so check it out. Now, uh, she was a uh, Button Eyes, the one that I've coloured. That one was from the Colouring Heaven mag, and I'm pretty sure you can also buy it in her Etsy store now as well. So uh, if you want to check that one out. Now, if you would like to purchase this image, it doesn't come in any other, any other, it, it is a grayscale image. There is no other image for this one. So I'll pop the link up. Now, she's also discounted it by 30% for us for the event. So that's already been taken off the uh, price in the store. So it's already discounted there for you. So go and check it out. Hi, Kathy. Welcome. Okay, so anyone that popped in that I missed, hello. Welcome. All right, let's get rid of our our um, buttonizer. You really like that movie? It was kind of creepy, kind of creepy, but um, it kind of made sense though. <laughs> yes, happy birthday, Pam. Um, hi Linda, hi Kelly, welcome, I did miss a few of you, you know, just sneaking in there, aren't ya? Anyone else? <laughs> Cassie, uh, through email, Ennis is a very hard lady to catch up with, so, um, Okay, Kenny. <laughs> Hi, Zealy. So, um, <laughs> sorry, can't help it. Hi, Pamela. Welcome. Hi, Dawn. Um, so anyway, what was I saying? <laughs> I'm lost already. Let's get started, shall we? Um, here we go. Now, I just want to mention on the, there is a couple list in the group, also in the link below in the link in the description below um, there is a link to the patreon post where you can see it's for the public so you can see what I'm using and also there's a color list conversion there as well so I'll be using polychromos pencils today but there is a conversion to Prismacolor Black Widow, Holborn, Pablo's, Shapir Farben I think that's it. If I've forgotten any, they're on the list. <laughs> so you can check them out there. Um, I am going to be using a Luminance white pencil. However, uh, two alternatives to the Luminance would be the Prismacolor white and the Holborn soft white. They would all do the same thing. So, um, actually, I had a... I used the... Um, color soft white yesterday and I think that that would probably do the same thing as well because it's nice and soft and creamy um, and it did actually blend in color as well so that might be something that you might have but um, I wouldn't suggest the polychromos white because it's fairly hard and firm and it doesn't sort of smudge the colors in together we want to use this to be a bit of a blender and uh, we want to smudge some color in so we need something that's soft and that is creamy and it will go over the top of the colour. Oh, Shara, bye. Hi, Amanda. Um, mm. <laughs> okay, so um, hello to all the Pams. We've got heaps of Pams in here today. Patty and anyone else that I missed again, welcome. <laughs> Let's pop those away. Oh dear, April Fools. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> All right, so what pencils, or colors am I gonna be using? Today we're only going to get the eyes, eyes, <laughs> uh, the skin uh, hands there today. So if we get it all finished, of course. But um, 
I want to start with the eye on this side because I want to make sure we get plenty of colour in there. And um, yeah, I think we'll start then go to the skin. So I'm going to use today my base skin colour is actually going to be mauve. Um, so if you haven't used a purple or a dark colour like this for a skin tone, this will be something different. Um, I wanted to make her look kind of white, pale, but have some depth to her. So using the purple will help to do that. And um, also she's got a lot of um, wounds on her. So we're going to be adding some red to the skin as blood splotches. I know, pretty gross, huh? <laughs> And, uh, and then we'll continue on. So we're going to have some fun. Uh, I don't like to talk about other channels, really. <laughs> Which I just tried to keep it just to, you know get rid of all the politics and other stuff that goes on in the community. I just like to sort of keep it, you know, to general chatter and a little bit of enjoyment, hopefully. <laughs> uh, there's a link in the description, Patty. Uh, maybe one of the mods can grab it because I don't have it. <laughs> uh, it's under the week one. Uh, there's a Patreon link it is free to the public and there's a picture of the of the color list and also a PDF of the color list as well. So you can get it from there. Thank you. Um, so the color list we're talking about now from it's also in my group, uh, which I don't know if I actually posted the link to the group. That's it. Thank you. Is that it? <laughs> Let me check. Let me check. Yeah, that's it. So if you have a look, the whole description of the colour along is there. And uh, if you scroll down to the bottom of the of the <laughs> of the post, there's a couple of little um, paper clips. So if you click on the paper clips, one is an actual image of the colour list, and the other one is actually a PDF of the colour list. So um, check that out. Well, now, Cassie, I have to say who because, you know, we need to know who you're talking about. <laughs> Can't do that. <laughs> okay. Um... All right. Well, don't leave us hanging. Who are we talking about? Come on, quick, out with it, spit it out, tell us. I don't know, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, not somebody that I know, unfortunately. I'm sorry, I couldn't help. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> let's do the eye first. I'm gonna zoom in for us. Has anyone not uh, been to a color along before? Is this new for anyone? Look at that creepy little face. She kind of reminds me of me, actually. If this was this this, it's like she's half the other me and half herself still. She hasn't quite transferred across yet. <laughs> okay, Pamela, have you got? You can uh, obviously you could follow along or you can uh, watch back too, which is easier for some people because they can pause it and. Um, and things like that. Thank you, Kenny. <laughs> Apparently she took a job and moved, so that's what she heard. Tara, cool. What other cuz, Linda? Who is your other cuz? I, I see Janine, but who's your other cuz? 
<laughs> all right I've got first of all we're going to be using black deep cobalt green and light phthalo green or phthalo green now I will also mention I know it's a bit blurry there but I'll mention the numbers as well because the skin colors that used to be called light flesh and dark flesh and medium flesh have now changed color names so I will read out the number as well because the numbers are still the same so uh if you've got a new set just ignore the actual name and uh, just look for the numbers for those skin colors but um yes okay so a halfling kind of she's half in and half out isn't she oh pamela oh, okay okay pamela k okay. k okay. okay i get it okay awesome <coughs> okay so we're starting with deep cobalt green which is 158 and we're going to just go in over the top of the black inside the eye here You might not be able to see on the camera there but even though there's black underneath the pencil just glides straight over the top of it and you can see the color very clearly I've just come out and around the eye a little bit just down the bottom there just so you can see that dark color coming through you see that as I said, you might not be able to see the colour, but uh, I d <laughs> let me just change that. Uh, I don't know why it changed back from previously. The exposure's also changed. Let me just change that slightly. Ah, too much, too much. Let me see the colour. Maybe not. I can see it just barely I'm not putting much pressure on the pencil but I am flattening out the tooth especially in those black areas so I'm just pushing enough pressure just to make those white lines go away from underneath and just bringing it out a little bit there into the colored more well, the white part just so you can see it can you see that now I'm not sure if that color is any better or not I can see it <laughs> yes elf that's right they've uh, they've renamed I can tell you they have renamed colors I just need to grab a drink here. All right. Polychromos, new colors. I've got to find them. I did a whole heap of color charts for the flip book so I have loads and loads and loads of files <laughs> hundreds of files I definitely need a new mouse how annoying is that click click clicking Castile Polychromos. The new color names are for light flesh it is beige red, for medium flesh it's coral and for dark flesh it's salmon. So they're the new colored color names.
No new colours, I renamed them. Uh, they got rid of the flesh word from from their pencils. I think it's just a politically correct thing and they're all doing it. So Copic did it a while ago, they got rid of um, like skin pink and things like that and now they've renamed them. Um, it's the same, uh, they got rid of flesh out of their... <laughs> out of their wording and they've just put in an actual colour name. Yes, so that's why they did it, because it's just the done thing, you know? <laughs> Alright, so now I've got a little bit of uh, light Thaleo green, a 162. You can see it on screen, but I've set it one to six two. Yeah, it's blurry. It's not. It's not. Uh, I'd have to change the ready watch. Let's show you. See, it was blurry. Is why you couldn't read it. Um, <laughs> too close to the camera. Ah, Cassie. Yeah, not missing, just changed. So I'm going to fill in uh, the light green, or light thalo, thalio, th it's a really hard word to pronounce that one. It's like an F and a TH at the same time. Thalio. <laughs> thalo. Green. And I'm going to go up into the section that went over the white part of the eye. And over that and I'm just going to come in and around to the bottom of the colored part of the eye there just like that and I've left that white highlight there And uh, added that in. So we've got a dark spot and then we've got light. Hi Katrina. Hi Loretta by the way. Alright so and then we want the black. The black because the black is good. I want to go over this black pupil. Just darkening that up. And I also want to come in around the top of the eye and just deepen that up. Just like that for now. We'll go in and we'll put eyelashes in later on, but for now. Now, I did say that I would use a white gel pen and a white paint pen. But I'm just going to use a white gel pen for now. I've got a jelly roll pen. Uh, I like these because they've got smaller nibs, but a really good one that uh, seems to go over pretty much everything is a Signo Uni Ball. It's just got a bigger nib on it, so it, for this tiny little spot, uh, it actually might be alright because this image is quite big. Yeah, this is alright. But when I'm doing a smaller image, then I'll use a smaller nib. Okay, now we're going to use the white, which is actually, let me just clean it. <laughs> Uh, you have to uh, Bernard you have to on the iPad or tablet I think you have to I'm not sure actually hang on let me look on my I don't even know where my phone is can't even check my phone today because I have no idea where it is sorry I can't help I know it's got something to do with opening the description underneath and there'll be an actual chat 
box will select the chat. This is white and I'm just putting this a little bit in the bottom of the eye there. I'm just going to use a little bit of a paint pen this time. I'm just going to mark a little highlight on the bottom of the eye. Well, I'm going to if my pen would work. Shaky time. Hi Renee! Congratulations Loretta, what is that? <laughs> Alright, now we need to do the underneath. I've got my black pencil. I'm going to use light pressure and I'm just going to come around the darker spots. Around the outside of the whites of the eye and there's a couple of little shadow areas too. I'm just going to lightly cover over those. So they're already marked. I'm just going to lightly go over them. Just like that. So I've just lined around. You can see where I've come over the white of the eye as well. I've got permanent carmine, which is one, two, six. You got it to work? Yay! Ah, oh, yep, okay, Loretta. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, so I've got permanent carmine. I'm just going to gently come over the top of the black and just bring it out a little bit further. How are you feeling, Bernard? Are you feeling a little bit better? Just like that, so I've got a bit of red in there. Now before I blend that out, I'm just going to add a little bit of dark red, which is 225. <laughs> and I'm going to use this and mark in a fairly dark line over the top of that black down the bottom there. And just in the corner of the eye. Yeah, it's looking quite dark looking, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Hi, Robin. <laughs> Elf. <laughs> okay, now using the white, I'm going to smudge that in. So I'm going to start and just smudge all the way around. like that. Can you see that? I'm going to add a little bit more depth. I'm going to use that dark red which was the 225. I'm just going to come back in, darken that and then using the permanent carmine which is 126 just lightly adding a little bit more to the very bottom. Trying to add a little bit of depth here. So showing that the eye is not completely flat. Now I'm just going to smudge that gently again with that white. Okay, done. Well that bit is anyway. <laughs> I'm going to add that permanent carmine just into the corner of the eye there as well. And I'm just going to gently blend that with the white. And then we're going to use the paint pen this time. <laughs> Who else watches it on the TV? I have never watched a stream on TV, I don't think. 
All right, I've got my paint pen and I'm just gonna go in and add a few little sparkly spots just to make it look like Hello Shadow. It's kind of wet and shiny down here. Just like that. We'll go and add some more in when we finished around the outside of the eye, but for now that will do. Kind of looks creepy, that's what I was after. <laughs> if you're not doing a creepy kind of bloodshot looking eye like that, you would just leave the red section out and just use either a grey or a black, but very lightly still add those shadows in just to create a little bit of depth in and around the, back, the eye there. Just got my black pencil and just redefining the very outside edge. I'm done. All right, so we'll start now working on the skin around the eye and we'll continue on with the skin then. Okay, Alf, no worries. Okay, so... We're going to start with mauve, which is 249. I'm going to lightly shade around all of the shadow areas of the eye. Really lightly, using my pencil really, really lightly, just doing some nice circular motions. Can you just see it coming out into the lighter sections of skin there? Just do around the eye first. I'm going to come in with some Venetian red, which is 190. Not that you can see it there, but thanks, Katrina. <laughs> I try. Uh, going to come over the top of the purple just really lightly coming over the top of it we're just going to add in some depth so this is going to add our creases and dark areas just going to come out a little bit from that so you can see it just on the white paper there as well. Just come over it a couple of times to make sure it's covering over the majority of the purple. We've kind of mixed the two together. It looks a little bit like a bruise now. <laughs> Hi from the big TV. <laughs> okay. Next color I'm going to use on the skin is cinnamon and I can't even show you because it's locked up in my pencil extender here. Cinnamon is actually one of my favorite colors for skin and I use it pretty much every blend no matter what I'm doing. So there you go. <laughs> I'm going to come over the top of those previous two colors and I'm going to come out a little bit in towards the skin, the white paper areas now. So coming over the top, just gently. gradually just filling in that eye area. I usually do work on all the skin at once but um, sometimes doing it this way I don't know 
you can concentrate more on the detail and get it right. I know, Katrina, it's not for everyone, but um, I want to try to do something for everyone, though. Like, does that make sense? Like, I know that not everybody likes the dark and macabre, and that's fine. That has it been fine. Um, I tend not to colour much of that sort of stuff either, but I really wanted to do this one. <laughs> I don't see it as dark either. I kind of see it as a struggle with life, and it makes sense to me. Um, and you can use it on any kind of image too, like it doesn't necessarily have to be like, you know, <laughs> the colours and things like that that we use in the techniques can all be used on any image, not just, you know, a dark coloured image. So this is the Light Flesh 132, or what was the colour name for this Light Flesh one? I think it was Red, Beige Red. So this is the new, the new name for it is Beige Red. Um, I've just got the older version, remember, and it's 132. I'm going to come over the top of all of that again. I'm going to need a pencil extender on this one soon. Just filling out those light patches under the eye there. And around the top. I'm probably putting medium pressure on because I kind of want to flatten the tooth off around the outside now, get it all nice and smooth. I want to make sure I keep this bottom of the cheek here rounded as well. I don't want to make it look square, so I'm just going around the top of the cheek there. blending that in let's add a little bit of red so I've got permanent carmine hi Debbie Yeah, that's right expect yeah yeah lavender's good color too uh, I've got permanent carmine 126 I'm coming in now and I'm just going to add some of that red feels weird saying blood color <laughs> uh, I'm going to add it directly under the eye there in the shadow and also in that little bit of a crease there up around the side of the eye and just on top of the eye a little bit there as well so I'm going to do a cor Coraline based colour so in the Coraline movie she wears like this salmon salmon pink striped top and it's dark salmon and light salmon so I'm going to do the same with that we're going to give her blue hair and um, we're going to do the background like in the movie she goes through like a portal and it's like all brightly colored purples and pinks I'm going to try and do that in the background and then do the cobwebs over the top of that so uh, hopefully it'll sort of you know come together nicely uh, Honestly, I've had my Fabers for five years. Okay. Faber Castell Polychromos. I've had these for five years. And um, I've only replaced a couple of colours. White. Um, I'm getting close to needing to do cinnamon. And I think this is the second light flesh because I use that a lot. I'm trying to think of what else I might have replaced. I think that might be it. 
but the ones that I've like look at this five years and I've still got let me just zoom out a little bit because it's worth showing you guys this this is probably my smallest one Um, so I've had this one for five years. <laughs> they last forever. Well worth the money that you pay for them. A very good investment. Hi, Bob. Oh, that was a bit closer. <laughs> that was a bit closer. All right, let's grab the white luminance. Oh, hi Tanny, welcome. This is the paper I'm using. Did, I forgot to mention that earlier, my bad. Ugh. Oh, hang on. Everything else is coming with it. So there's a link in the description um, for this and also I have a... These are affiliate links too, guys. When you purchase, it's no extra cost to you, but I do get something from the sales. Yes, I know. Strathmore Mixed Media Pay Shadow is the, uh, is the link. <laughs> Cut it out. <laughs> She's rubbing all over me right now. She's like, come and patch me. Well, I've got my white again. Just starting in the light areas. Just going to gently rub over and blend it in together. I don't want to concentrate too much in those dark, darker areas, just mainly on the light. The darker areas already have blended off a fair bit with the layers that we've done. Noisy cat. <laughs> That's uh, polychromos, uh, Katrina. Polychromos. Faber-Castell polychromos. Hello. Okay, you need to stop playing with stuff, please. I'm busy. We're working here, madam. Working. I've got black. Black is 199, by the way. I didn't say that before. I'm going to use this to create some eyelashes and then her eye will be finished. Yay! <laughs> yep. Get. Oh, really? Get off that. Thank you. Bully. Pinching my stuff all the time. I don't know. Don't <laughs> bite me. <laughs> She's bitey today. You're bitey today. <laughs> there's a link to them in my description as well <laughs> we're going to create some eyelashes so I'm just going to kind of do them on a bit of a angle flicking doing some little ticks and then ticking in the opposite direction down on the bottom giving us some per therapy are you and we're done we're going to add some of that white paint pen just gently just a couple on the outside there as well. It's very hard to see, but I only did very small ones. Paint pen's not working properly. Her eye is done. Does it look good? Look real? She's noisy. 
No. It's Friday here, guys. You guys are talking about it being Thursday. It's Friday already. Yeah. Friday. All right. Let's do the other eye. We're going to leave the button for now, but we'll do around the outside of it and do the skin. So we'll start with the purple. Oh, actually, wait. I missed something. We need to do the eyebrow just with black. Just going to go over that eyebrow. Let's do that over here too. Her hair is covering over a lot of it, but just using that black. Okay, let's start with the parapole again. So mauve 249. Can you hear it? Excuse me. What are you doing? A sookie bum today. <laughs> a little bit of mauve, just lightly, very lightly into the shadows. And we've got Venetian Red 190. She's being very cute. She's being a bright. Just lightly coming over the top of it. And when I come over the top, I also come out into those lighter areas as well. So we're starting to build out the colour. Some cinnamon. Um, no, it's about the same as Christine's, I, I reckon. I don't know. I've, I've done Christine's as well. I think that Christine's can be just as dark. This is dark grayscale. Wait, let me find it. This is from the Coloring Heaven magazine. Look how dark that is. <clears throat> And this is what we did yesterday on Patreon. It was just for patrons. Just colouring grayscale. So using markers for the sky and then pencil on her. Um, but yeah, that's definitely dark grayscale. Those gothic alchemy images are, are black. <laughs> black. But I don't know. I reckon this is like, it's dark, but not, not too bad. Okay, got cinnamon, cinnamon, which needs to be sharpened. And then I've got some light flesh again. Or, what was it again? Beige red, which was uh, 132. No worries, Patty. Yeah, I know, um, I just got my book, so yesterday, patrons and I got on and did a bit of a video on colouring really dark grayscale. It was nice to catch up with everyone. I 
Okay, now we're bringing our um, permanent carmine 126 beige red. Yeah, <laughs> that was the light flesh 132 before. Okay, this is the permanent carmine. I'm coming into the dark shadowy areas and adding in my blood effects. It comes kind of down her face a little bit too, so I'm just going to blend it down into her cheek a little bit. We're going to fix the skin colours up later on, but for now. Just like that. I'm going to add in some dark red, which was 225. Oh my gosh, Michelle, welcome! It's been ages! <laughs> dark red, 225. I'm just going to come around the darkest area, so underneath the button. And I'm also going to mark in a few darker areas in that skin as well, just coming down her face, just so we've got a little bit of depth in there as well. Going around the top. Okay, I'm not going to add too much white in here now, but white I'm going to use just to blend off those lighter areas around the outside. Just like that. And that's pretty much done. Let's just go back in with that dark red, just redefining that shadow there. And I might actually add a little bit of black, so 199 underneath that button. Just adding that depth just slightly. Make it look nice and deep. And also make it look like that button sitting on top of the eye there. Hi Barbara, welcome. Oh, we miss you too. Just got my white luminance again. All right, now we can finish off the rest of the skin. <laughs> so we'll start with the mauve 249. I'm going to come around all of the shadow areas now on the rest of the face here. Just very lightly. We don't want to put too much pressure on here. Now I want to add a little bit of a shadow here on the side of the mouth just so we can start to create really really light pressure like I'm hardly even touching the paper. <laughs> I'm scratching over it. Let's add a little bit of depth in the sides of the nose. Come around the nose. Add a little bit on top of the nose. Okay, underneath, marking in those dark spots for the nostrils just going to mark a little bit of like a triangle shape coming down towards so large to skinny bit of a triangle there it's 
part of that shadow. I know it's really pale, but it's just enough to add a little bit of depth in underneath the red when we add it. Don't forget the other side. You can just barely see a bit of a shadow in there already, so I'm kind of following along with that. I'm not adding my own in really, apart from our little line here on the side. So we can get a bit of shape in that cheek mainly. Okay, good. Let's go with Venetian Red again, which is 190. <laughs> Group hug. I need a drink. Ah. It is Coraline inspired. We were just saying that earlier, Michelle, because um, I, uh, I did this one, which is Button Eyes. So we did our all Coraline looking. <laughs> and uh, that this one's the same. This is called The Other Me. Because, you know, in Coraline, the other mother and the other father. And so I've got a Venetian red coming over the top of it. Just really lightly. Not too much pressure. Otherwise you'll get a purple line all the way around the outside. You want it to blend in if you can. So coming over all of the mauve. Just coming a little bit further out into the white paper as well. Just gonna kind of blend into the to the blood on that side, but that's okay. We've marked it now, so we can go back in and add more layers if we need to. Feeling a little bit more of this cheek, just lifting it up a little bit. And uh, we're done. All right, now we're gonna go to cinnamon. Is that right? Was I just, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Next color coming over the top. We're going to leave a nice gap for some light colour, so leaving a little bit of a gap for the light flesh. But just using light pressure, I'm not pushing down at all, just gradually working over the top of the previous colours and just coming out a little bit further into the white areas of the face. Just missed some skin up there between her hair, but just like that. Okay, 
It's about to get a lot lighter. Oh, Lane, that's no problems. Welcome back. <laughs> uh, so we've got that light flesh, which is 132, and I think it was beige red is the new color name. And I'm going to come over the top of everything. Filling in all of the white space now. Still using light pressure. And I kind of do circular motions. I'm just doing it a little bit faster. <laughs> so just round and round and round and round and round. Now here we can see a lot of that white space still, so we are going to use our pencil. Bye Kelly! We definitely need wood. <laughs> I've got uh, the Luminance white and I'm going to start from the light area, so starting from the lightest part of the cheek, using circular motions again and I'm going to flatten the tooth so I'm not pushing too hard I don't really need to because there's plenty of color on the page and it kind of just smudges out itself just stretching out into the dark spots so that they blend off nicely So we have nice smooth skin and also she's looking kind of pale now too. We've gotten rid of that um, darker colour now and she's got a little bit more paleness to her which is what I wanted. I think um, she's still half and half so in the Coraline movie the witch or demon or whatever it was that was trying to capture her um, she'd already captured other children and they actually had button eyes already and that's when she took their life force so it's like hello truck so it's like she's she hasn't quite got there she didn't quite get her uh, life force taken from her. She's still herself. It was actually quite a dark movie for a kid's movie. My daughter didn't like it. She hated it. She doesn't like that movie Witches either. I rolled up. She didn't when she was younger. Nice and smooth. No. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> I know, Robert, how, how sad is that? 
you cannot it's not an essential maybe if you bought it from the supermarket and did your own it's a bit different <laughs> I want to add in a little bit of the uh, permanent carmine 126 again. Uh, I just want to add a little bit or a touch of it on the tip of her nose here, just really lightly. Just there. Let's just go back over the cheek there as well because we've blended and smudged some of that out. I'm going to just darken it up a little bit. Just going to darken that side too, just slightly. Adding a little bit to the top of that lid as well. Hmm, that's good. Just to add some to the side of the face there, just a little bit. I'm going to be putting it in her lips anyway, so that will help bring some of that up too. Okay. Yeah. Let's go back in with the Venetian red and just add a little bit of depth in under the nostrils there again. Just redefining that a little bit. <laughs> You've got a bit of a wonky nose, but you know, a little bit of the light flesh or 132 just to blend it out slightly I didn't want to use the white because it would have just softened it off a little bit too much I still want a little bit of color there and because I've already put that white in now there's a nice layer over the top of the paper and it's kind of waxy and creamy and it just sort of smoothly goes over the top now. All right, let's get to my lips. She's looking good, very good. Okay, we need black. So B, a black is a 199. And uh, we're going to go into the lips and we're actually going to lightly shade over the black part. So we actually want to use the black this time. We don't want to cover it. But just lightly going over it. Don't want to put down any pressure because we want to add the red over the top. So I've got the dark red 225. I'm going to come over the top of the black. In these little smiley mouth bits I've just done a little bit firmer pressure so that I've push the tooth down it doesn't look fuzzy and then a little bit lighter pressure in over the top of the black and I'm just going to line out the rest of the lips as well just like that putting a little bit of pressure down over the black now filling that in and just lightening up my pressure into those lighter areas there there we go. Using the permanent carmine 126, we're going to repeat the same steps. Coming over the rest of the lips. We want to make sure the tooth is flattened out, so we're going to use that permanent carmine to push that tooth down so that there's no white space there. And now uh, we're going to use a white paint pen. <laughs> Pam.
I'm doing pur I've got purple and blonde I'm going trying to go lighter now getting away from the darker colors I uh, using the gel pen I'm just gonna put a couple of little spots of white in the lightest areas just like that and uh, you know what I feel like it needs just a little bit of cinnamon just over those violet areas or mauve areas again Just covering up some more of that violet colour, or the mauve I should say. If I had paper that didn't take as many layers I wouldn't have done that because uh, it probably would just break the paper using the light flesh just to blend it out a little bit. Make sure there's no defined lines, it's a little bit smooth. I think that's a little bit better. I just wanted to take the the violet from it a little bit. I think we've done well with that. Looks good. All right. Just uh, zooming out a little bit so you can see her. How's that? Looks good, huh? All right, use the black. I'm just going to go and just define the outside of her face. Because we're going to be putting black, black blue hair in there. And uh, just on that very edge there redefining it okay let's move to the hands and the neck oh yeah Elaine I have that one If my husband doesn't have any either. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, actually, I don't know. I'm just looking at a part here and I'm not sure I need to have a look at... Uh, I need to have a look at the original, I think, to see... To check it out. Gotta find it. My computer has been playing up lately. Yeah, it is a bit of skin. Just here is a little bit of skin. I just wanted to check. Uh, Ennis's original image is actually mostly black and white. She's only got a little bit of red for the blood kind of look and um, and some pinks. So it's really quite dramatic. <laughs> um, but I want to add a little bit of colouring to mine. So I have all of Nell's books. Um... And I have quite a few of her gross girl ones. I actually want to do, she's done one that's actually based on um, Yennefer. 
from The Witcher, so I want to do that one. Okay. So starting with a little bit of mauve just on the top for the shadow on the hands as well. I'm going to go into the fingers. The fingers are quite scary looking actually. They're really thick and uh, I don't know, <laughs> they kind of look like she's had a, a bit of a anaphylactic reaction to something. She's allergic to something. <laughs> they're quite dark, aren't they? And they're quite thick. I think they're most they're supposed to look kind of scary and claw like <laughs> let's go with the venetian that was mauve going in with venetian red which is 190 coming over the top of that Just a little bit weird, freakish. What's the time anyway? Oh, we better do a giveaway. Who wants to do a giveaway? Now, Ennis, as I said, is a hard one to catch up with. She has lots going on. And uh, it may take up to a week for her to send the image out to you. But the giveaway prize is going to be your choice of image from her Etsy store. So you'll be able to go there and pick an image. You'll need to email me so I have your email address. And that was a Venetian red. A little bit of. <laughs> Everyone's going, me, 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 me. <laughs> and uh, I will be sending that information off to Ennis. So just so you know, I'll be sharing that information with her. That was cinnamon next. Cinnamon, cinnamon, and I don't know the number of cinnamon. 189. <laughs> And then I've got the light flesh or 132 beige red coming over everything. We're going to lighten all that off dramatically with the white next. Arlene, <laughs> that's the story of my life. <laughs> I've watched The Witcher, I, I think, I've watched it once all through and we're almost at the end of watching it a second time, Michelle. Like it a lot. I do get a little bit annoyed with the way he talks though because he doesn't actually talk like that. It's weird. <laughs> the actor, I mean, he's, yeah, the voice is different. It's like they've done something to it to make it seem kind of darker and... deeper, I guess. <laughs> okay. We're going to add in some of the permanent red around the fingers just to add in our blurred. Just going around the top of the fingernails there a little bit with it. like that. Need a little bit more there. I'm just going to use the light flesh 132 
just to blend that out a little bit. Just make them look kind of stained, I guess. Do the fingernails. I got a little bit of the black 199. Just going to do over the top of, like we did with the lips for these, lightly over the black areas. And then coming in with the dark red, which is 225. Uh, on Etsy. Hollow Moon Art is her Etsy store. Just adding this over the black. Using a little bit of pressure so that I'm actually flattening it out and finishing that off. And leaving a gap for the lightest colour. very small space to work with here so make sure you've got a nice sharp pencil And then the permanent carmine again. Colorist Anonymous. <laughs> That's okay. Also, too, uh, I added a new special event in there today for Jenny Allen, who is a colorist in our community who is uh, currently suffering with brain cancer. And the lovely Isabella from Ro Rosary Wana Mama <laughs> has uh, given us a couple of free images. So I've added those in the group today as well. So make sure you pop over and grab those. And when you are posting your coloured images, uh, make sure that you tag, tag the tags that are in the post. <laughs> Jenny, is that right? If I said her name right, I don't want to, you know, I'm really bad with names. <laughs> they do, not finished yet. I'm just using my eraser, I went out the edges. Still using the permanent carmine, just coming over the top of the white parts. Yeah, she kind of looks like she's mutated a little bit, doesn't she? She's got long, chubby fingers that are looking like they've you're right, looks like they're um they're transforming. <laughs> they probably are. I don't know if it'll be a cat though, because the demon didn't like cats. There you go. Protector of the kitty cats. Let's add a little bit of a white uh, gel pen or paint pen to the shiny parts of the nails there. Just some little white tip tips. Ticks. Tips, whatever. Okay, uh, Venetian red under the chin. I've kind of got carried away with the hands and forgot the bit under a chin there. A little bit of the cinnamon. And then I think we'll do the giveaway. So what I'll do is I'll uh, show you the rules and then we'll do the giveaway. I'll play them for you through and then I'll read them through with you. And we'll come back and give an image away. I think that could be much darker in that area. We'll come back to that. Let's do another layer of Venetian red. And cinnamon. Yeah, I think that's a little bit darker. A bit of light fresh flesh. I'm just going to go back in with that black and just redefine the edge of her chin there. It needs a little bit of white in there now. 
Now it's the wrong colour. That's good. Alright, let me just zoom out a little bit. And I'll play these rules. Can't find my zoom out button. It's looking good. Alright, where's my rules? Alright guys, so uh, make sure you only pick one number between 1 and 100, only one number per person. The first person to call the number owns it, so no take backs. No chatting during number calling until the winning number is drawn. And no numbers before the words go, go, go or after stop, stop, stop will be counted. And now I've got no breath. <laughs> it's alright Shadow. <laughs> the number closest to the generated number without going over it wins. If there is no winning number, then it will be redrawn. Make sure that you are on live chat. Click on that little box at the top there with that little arrow. Click on that and make sure you've selected on live chat. Excuse me? What? Any giveaway or promotion is in no way endorsed, sponsored, or administered by or associated with YouTube. And um, I will need your email addresses, so don't forget that. Let's come back to the main chat. And if you are the winner, you will need to email me here. Oh, I need my phone. You need to give me two secs, guys. Well guys, I can't find my phone to do the uh, random number and uh, I haven't started. <laughs> Everyone's gone and put numbers in and I haven't said go yet, people. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You'll have to give me a minute to think, breathe. <sighs> Where is my phone? Okay, I can't find my phone. So let me just go and grab my iPad. I will be back.
Okay, I don't know where it's gone between uh, when I started live and now, <laughs> but it's literally just disappeared. Gone. No idea. <laughs> I was rushing around and uh, folding washing and things this morning, so it's quite possible, quite possible, that it's there somewhere. Excuse me. Okay, I got it. All right, let's do this, shall we? Ah. Stop calling numbers. I haven't started. <laughs> okay, now is everybody ready? Sorry for that, guys. Everybody was extremely uh, uh, too quick for me. <laughs> Into the corner. Off you go. Smack, smack. <laughs> Readies. Good, 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 good. All right. <laughs> oh, you're all good. Here we go. And uh, go. It is in the chat box. So off you go. Now you can put your numbers in. Remember between 1 and 100 and only one number. If somebody gets your number too bad, no take backs. <laughs> uh, Pamela, it has to be between 1 and 100, so thank you. <laughs> Accidentally just popped in there. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try to count a minute um, here because I have no timer. Seems like everyone was pretty keen though, so I think numbers are going to be coming in quite quickly here. <laughs> oh, funny, funny, funny. You're all funny, funny. I love seeing her come together. We're going to do that bottom section now so sorry slipped <laughs> all right so going going gone it's too late it's too far gone it's almost time time is running out if you haven't put in a number put in a number now and uh, remember it is the uh, person who gets closest to the generated number without going over it and uh, I think I've given enough time so I'm just gonna press the stop button there <laughs> and uh, I'm going to generate the number. So here's the generator. Number 64 is the winner. So who got closest to 64 without going over? Oh, Linda went over. It looks like it was Pamela. So, Miss Pamela, okay, who's K with Linda's cousin, <laughs> who's new here also, uh, has also uh, has won that. So, Pamela, you will need to email me at my email. So it's just colour with face will go all one word. 1978 at gmail.com. I'm posting it up now. I just got to find it. Congratulations. So you'll need to go and pick out a, a image from her store. Uh, I don't actually have the link directly to her store, but I've got the link to the image and uh, that is actually her store. So you should be able to find something there. Yay. Excuse the mess with all my, I have to find my phone now. I know I've got this, this, program called find my iPhone so I should be able to actually um, I should be able to play a tune or something and uh, 
it will, you know, it's looking for my phone. It's looking for my phone. Oh, that is so cool, Pam. All right, here we go. Listen. I can't hear it. Oh wait, I can, hang on. <laughs> I found it! <laughs> Have done that to start with. <laughs> Anyhow, that was clever. <laughs> and it was where it should have been, it just had fallen off. So I must have got a message or something and it's vibrated off where it was. It was sitting next to me, but it had fallen off, so I couldn't see it <laughs> off my couch. So, uh, all good. All right, let's start on the body before we <laughs> run out of time because we've only got 20 minutes. We might not get it finished, of course, but let's give it a go. Bye, Elaine. Feel better. Rest well. So we've done face, fingers, eye. We haven't done button eye yet, but we might have to get to that next week. Let's start on a body. A buddy. Hi, Diane. Okay. So, let's get some shadows going here. Adding in the Mo first, which was all 249. And uh, her top's kind of ripped. So, we're going to add a little bit of this up here in her ripped section as well. No, oh, Shadow. You're being a sookie bum. <laughs> She's being a sookie bum. So just adding it really lightly into the shadow area. So I'm using the original image shadow areas. Sorry guys. I'm trying to if I can get that color picture a bit better there. Can you see that a bit better? I'm not sure. Yep. The pencil had a bit of a scratchy spot on it, so I've just turned it on a different angle to get rid of the scratchiness. So just really lightly laying down in the shadows. She is. Oh, now my phone's annoying me. Oh, look, I can get $1 large fries at Macca's. Woohoo! <laughs> Don't you love those random messages that you get? Anyway. <laughs> Imagine her wearing, like, blue denim tattered jeans, shorts or something.
just really lightly. I've just done it a little bit darker on the actual key shadow. And in those darker black areas I've done over a few times. But in these areas here we're just keeping it nice and light. And now Nani's joining in on the fight and barking outside. She's so funny. She goes outside and then she barks at the lounge room window because she sees shadows and movement and thinks this is something scary there. But it's actually just us inside. It's pretty funny. Silly doggy. So we've kind of created some abs here a little bit, haven't we? <laughs> She's got some abs, girl. I wish my tummy looked that flat. My tummy's never looked that flat and I was slim. <laughs> we all just have different body shapes, don't we? Okay, now I want those abs. Me too. Hi, Grace, and welcome. Um, I do too, for sure. <laughs> uh, Venetian red. 190. 190. go just going over it really lightly just going a little bit further out into the whiter areas now because we want to gradually just build it all in a bit like a puzzle starting in one section and working our way around until we've done it all I think we'll just add a bit down there too hey add a little bit more mauve just to the bottom here through the hair of her hip <laughs> I have a six pack it's just under some bakery rolls <laughs> Funny, funny. <laughs> How you guys are funny. Oh, Nani's really barking out there now. Having a hard time. I'm going to go over this section a little bit firmer. Adding a little bit of extra colour in there. I want that to stay nice and dark, that bit. And just down the bottom here I'll do the same. And then just lighten it up again. Oh, I can hear somebody up. Kettle's going. 
I think this is the first time hubby's been home all week. He's been out at 6 o'clock every morning this week. He's been uh, sanitising and helping clean air conditioners in a school, which is important. And uh, had a few air conditioning breakdowns as well. But uh, with all the businesses and everything closing, there's uh, going to be no work. We're, we're not going to have much work at all. We've got no schools open now. Pretty much only essential businesses are open. So we're not going to have much breakdowns because <laughs> nothing's open. Service stations, supermarkets. had a flat stomach before I had kids I had like this really sort of strange stomach <laughs> even while I was pregnant my mum goes you have the funny shaped belly I'm like I know <laughs> let's move on and do some cinnamon I'm just strange strange creature Unique. Yeah, I'm just going to come over with a really light layer of this over those light areas as well. Just a really light layer though. No matter what I did, I could not get my stomach flat. Not without trying either. <laughs> I have a fairly short body and uh, things <laughs> stick out, <laughs> especially when I was pregnant. I had foot marks sticking out and all sorts of things. <laughs> no room in there, that's for sure. Lungs and ribs were stretched to the max. Looking good. Looking grainy. <laughs> Renee. Good job though. I uh, lost a whole heap of weight a few years ago now. And um And then I had a hysterectomy. I had lots of problems, endometriosis, and uh, had a hysterectomy, and everything went downhill. I couldn't keep the weight off. It just, just come back on. <laughs> I don't know hormones or I don't know. Body just changed. Fibro got really bad. Arthritis got really bad. Everything just changed after that hysterectomy. Although, best thing I ever did, I was in a lot of pain all the time. But now I'm in a lot of pain all the time. 
don't know don't know which is the lesser evil I'm using the light flesh now to come over everything hello again you're really annoying today aren't you No worries, Helen. Thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate your help. Wow. Really? Wow. You're complaining, are you? Your life is so hard. Don't kiss the mic, you'll make noises. Kissing the mic. <laughs> I think we've got a good layer of pencil. We can still see some graininess, but I think we've got a good layer. So when I come in and start blending with that white, I think we've got a good sort of base to blend that out with. Oh no, Renee. <laughs> Good on you, though. <laughs> I need the cinnamon a little bit more over the purple. I'm going to get rid of some of that mauve colour and just get a little bit more depth in there. Like we did in the face, we kind of covered up some more of the violet colour with the cinnamon before. It's kind of what I'm doing now. Just coming back over it again. It's almost tea time, I think. It's usually about now, hubby brings it in. It's usually earlier, but he was busy this morning doing bits and pieces, so... I did hear the kettle go, so maybe, maybe I'll get it soon. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Alright, um, now, let's, before we go and put white in, I want to have a play with the, what are these called? Scars. <laughs> sores open wounds really uh, let's go in with dark red first zoom in a little bit still quite rough in that skin so dark red 225 let's come in and like line so i'm really putting a bit of pressure on here i want to actually line the wound I need to sharpen my pencil. Nope, I need to actually sharpen it. That wasn't sharp enough. I tried my little baby froggy, but it didn't work. I used to do Zumba. But, um, the guy who was teaching it, he was actually a professional Latino dancer. And um, I loved it so much fun and then I had my hysterectomy and couldn't exercise for a little while until I recovered from that and then when I was probably getting close to being ready to go back he quit and I'm like no there's no one else that could be like him he was awesome <laughs> So 
just marking over the scar or wound lines. I'm just going to come into a belly button here too. Add a little bit of that dark red. Okay, now we're going to use permanent carmine. I also did karate for quite some time, but um, the instructor was a perv. <laughs> permanent carmine next. Just going to come into the little shadow pockets where it looks like she's had stitches in and they've been pulled out. I'm just going to add this in there. And um, we found that no matter how much you did or learned, you had to do a certain amount of classes before they move you up a belt. And it got a little bit frustrating because it was more like, you know, about money than skill. So, uh, yeah, we decided that that wasn't what we wanted. Bit of arrogance in the room all the time too. It just felt like, I don't know didn't feel comfortable. Hey, stop pushing my things off, you. This is permanent carmine. I'm just coming over those marks and indentations where it'd be red from the, looks like probably self-made stitches there. Adding a little bit of that to the belly button. Just there. Um, that looks pretty good to me. Got a bit of got a bit of blood. <laughs> All right. White. Starting from the light areas and moving out. Using circular motions to blend and smudge that pencil around. You can see it already starting to smooth and flatten. What's the time? Oh, finishing time. I'll just finish blending off this tummy and then we'll finish up. And we'll come back next week and we'll do the button eye and her hair, I think, we need to do. Just gently smudging over that wound and I can go back over that colour a little bit just to deepen it up again when we're done. But that's pretty much all I'm going to do now. Just blend, blend it out with the pencil. Should probably just be careful I don't go over other sections. <laughs> ah, guy, the lines all the time, you know. My pencil needs sharpening, actually. Um, yeah, it's medium. Depends on depends on the pencil area that I'm doing. Um, 
If I'm going over the darker areas, I may need to put a little bit more pressure on. You'll find if you've put enough pencil down, it will kind of blend quite nicely without too much pressure. Not enough pressure to break the pencil, even when it's sharp. And it's actually quite cold here, so <laughs> the pencils could be a little bit brittle. If you're finding it really hard to blend with the with the Caran d'Ache Full Blender that I love or white then you probably don't have enough colour underneath to push around and uh, it's worth doing another layer of colour over the top of the white if you've done that which we still might even do but it'll be next week now if I do anything else I'm just going to blend this off for today blend it off for today back on Monday um, don't know what I'll do yet I'm due for a paint by numbers but um, I may color a page I think I don't know <laughs> big choice Okay, for now we are done. I'm not going to stress any more about that skin. I'll finish it off next week when we come back. Let's have a look at her. She, she definitely needs some more colour in down here, so I'll probably do another layer of colour, but as I said, we'll do it next week. I'm not going to do it now. Looks bro. Very happy. <laughs> Okay, we'll finish off the rest of the skin next week and um, look at that beautiful face. <laughs> she looks good. I like her. I really do. <laughs> Thanks guys. Thank you. Have a great weekend and um, I will see you next week, Monday or well, Sunday for most of you. And um, to... Pamela, make sure that you message me, uh, email me, whatever, or message Linda, she can message me, whatever. Just uh, get in touch so I can send you your image. And that's it. I'm done. Bye.